horror story of my life. <laughs> I can't find a snake. said much since I started the vlog and I was doing my hair um, but I managed to do my makeup I installed my hair I'm changed into my photo shoots outfit or whatever you want to call it I'm gonna yeah the clue is already downstairs so um, I'm gonna go take a few pictures I have some that I wanted to take inside and then some outside I don't really have any concept this year I just you know wanted to look cute and take a couple of photos that I could post so that's what I'm gonna do and yeah I just thought I would update you guys because you know have been going around I'm filming TikToks and taking pictures and doing all of that so my mind is really all over the place but the birthday photo shoot is still happening I look cute I look fly I look good check my swag <laughs> I did a transition with the Victoria Monet song on my mama and it's I, I haven't edited it but i know that it's gonna be cute mommy i know that it's gonna be cute but yeah this is the outfit i'm sure you guys have seen this outfit on instagram some way somehow um but if you haven't you will on my birthday so her the insect wants to enter my mouth can you imagine god <laughs> anyway let's do it <sighs> it looks so cute when they say she did it from her mama, mama say you fuck her right back. Okay, guys, so we managed to take some pictures outside. Um, you know, I managed to take a few photos outside, but now I'm gonna go inside and take a few more photos. Um, I have pretty much everything that I need at this point. I don't really need um, a lot of photos, so I'm just gonna go inside, take the up close ones, like the studio short type photos, and then I will compare which one I like. I usually do that um, to compare if I want an outside photo or an inside photo. So I think I'll do that. And then, yeah, birthday photo shoots is done. I'm happy that I did that makeup transition into outfit, hair, everything is done. Photo shoot is done. I just have to edit them and then prep them for posting. And then that's it because I have work on Tuesday. My birthday is on Tuesday and I have work on Tuesday. So I obviously cannot do all of this on Tuesday or Monday. It's, it can't happen. Um, plus, I have a very exciting news on Tuesday, which you guys will see in another vlog. So or you might you might hear about it here i don't know i don't know how to hide anything so i just might say it or i just might talk about it um but it's really good news so yeah i'm very excited to share that with you but let's go inside and do the indoor shoot and then we can get it done and out of the way okay
Hey guys. So it's finally... Oh, I'm so tired. Uh, my whole body is literally aching so bad. But that's also because I did a full body workout yesterday. Intense 45 minute full body workout with a dumbbell. So... It makes sense that my body's aching this much but i can't wait to go to bed i woke up so early today and i slept so late the night before so it's not it's not connecting uh, but i'm just gonna today has been a good day it's been a very productive day i managed to um, clean the apartment i did my laundry and then later i did my photo shoots i filmed the transition video for my birthday I did pretty much everything that I wanted to do on my to-do list today and that's literally what makes me happy or that's what makes me feel productive so I would say today has been a productive day in a life for sure uh, my best friend's on his way to Mexico or he's gone to Mexico with his friends oh so excited I was supposed to be on that trip but life happened and I really I'm not able to leave my little girl. That's truly, truly what it is. You guys know um, that my daughter right now is in early development. She's actually about to go into speech therapy. So that and a lot of other things are preventing me from, you know, fully doing stuff like that. Like traveling around and, you know, because I feel like I don't want to leave the bed in just for my husband. And... I mean, my husband definitely always says that he'll be fine, he'll be fine. Oh, yeah, you can go on a trip, I'll be fine. But then I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. Plus, my daughter has a big baby, so, you know, I like to be around. And then I feel like I can always travel in the future. But that's besides the point. Today has been a productive day. That's just all I wanted to talk about. The photos, I'm about to, like, shower go and sit down and then i can edit these pictures possibly edit the transition video because there's a lot of like um cuts and scenes that has to go into it to make it whole so i have to take my time with that and make sure that it looks good i'm a perfectionist literally always wanting things to look really good especially when it comes to content if it's like content that i'm really really particular about <laughs> which is like 98% of my content, I'm gonna put my all in that. So um, I'm just gonna shower, chill, and then you know, finish off the day with some editing and I can call it a day. I'm so tired. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I'm trying to position you. We're going to run a few errands. I'm going to pick up breakfast and do groceries. So let's go. We're back home i am back home from grocery i'm definitely bad at grocery shopping vlogging because i don't think i'm bad i think there was just a lot of people there but let's do a quick grocery haul let me show you guys the things that i picked up nothing crazy i'm not gonna lie i picked up some oil and i picked up some tin tomatoes i like to use this for my stew or what Americans will say source. I also picked up some multi-grain bread. I like this type of bread. I like it to be wheat or grainy and then cut in this like shape. It's so weird. But I also like sourdough. Sourdough bread is really nice. And I also picked up some eggs. I usually go for the 18 crate egg. Do you see that? And for whatever reason, I picked up some soda. I don't know why. I guess I'm in festive birthday mode. So I picked up some soda. Yeah. I also have some beef, minced beef, and some chicken. This is like half chicken. And then I picked up some plantains, some ripe plantains, as well as some regular plantain. I love 
plantain. So then I have some Sarilac or baby food. I have some pepe. I also have some mixed veggies. I'm gonna make some vegetable rice or fried rice. And I also have some goat's meat. And then I picked up some yogurt snacks for Inframapa. We've upgraded. You guys know that we used to eat the fruit pouch. I don't know if you remember the fruit pouch from Geva Baby. But now we've upgraded to these yogurts. I also got some breakfast. Um, I picked some orange juice as well as some as well as a tuna this is a tuna sandwich literally simple basic ass tuna sandwich but that's everything for grocery um, I'm gonna put them away and start cooking can you guys imagine like it's 127 the time is going by so fast i literally just woke up and it's 127 so i'm gonna get to cooking really quickly um sort of like meal prepping for the week and then i can just chill for the rest of the day i don't really have much to do today i have to edit so that's what i'm gonna do edit the birthday pictures that we took yesterday and then the video um and then yeah i'm just gonna do that so good morning it's my birthday getting ready for work um, I have to work in office today so that's why I'm getting ready for work you know because it's a Tuesday so a girl has got to do what a girl has got to do if you're still trying to shop some sunscreen try this one from Supergoop they are unseen sunscreen it's truly the best like one of the best sunscreens I've used it's just clear it doesn't leave any white cast purple cast nothing it's perfect for black people outfit of the day hey guys i am back home i'm back home from work um today was honestly a calm day it was a really cool chill work day type day <laughs> that wasn't so much it was really calm my lunch break i had the salad for lunch which was really good and then i also had a shawarma that shawarma was so good i didn't really show you guys i don't know why i think i finished it before i could say jack but i was so hungry because i was fasting i've been fasting this whole week um so i don't really have much to do for the rest of the day i posted on instagram my stories and everything it's like blowing up literally and i'm so happy um because i haven't posted on instagram in a very long time so i'm happy that my birthday is like my comeback on instagram legit because I, I i don't know what's been happening with me and like just finding the time and sitting down and just like actually creating the content so yeah i'm back home i'm just gonna chill i just wanted to check in with you guys really quickly the birthday has been very chill isn't this a different birthday from what we always have like every birthday i'm cooking cutting cake and like making six seven dishes this day this year it wasn't like that i went to work i came back home i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night i have work tomorrow life is going on and I've come to realize that that is truly adulting. <laughs> like adults, adulthood sometimes looks like this on your birthdays, okay? But also over the weekend, I'm still gonna do a little something, definitely. I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna cook a thing or two, you know, make it a little festive in the house so that we can just chill together as a family. I, I think I wanna do that. Um, and yeah, so it's been a good day so far i will check back in with you guys when i have to peace out and if you wished happy birthday on instagram or any of the social platforms thank you so much i appreciate you guys so so much i truly truly see the community that i have 
on here social media as like my true friends i'm not even gonna lie as weird as it may sound like i truly believe that you guys are my friends and i look forward to always like talking to you and like reading your comments and stuff like that like it gives me pleasure to look at them so just know that this relationship mommy don't push my camera mommy's talking to the people <laughs> she's looking at you guys like you guys are real it's like looking at me. yeah but i just want to know what you want you want you guys to know that i love you okay i will see you guys um you know when next i see you i don't know if the vlog is ending here i don't know but i will see you if i if i see you i will see you okay oh my god you guys there's a fucking snake in my kitchen there's a fucking snake in my kitchen Hey guys, <laughs> happy Thursday you guys. This vlog has been a two week, it hasn't been a two weeks vlog. I started the vlog on the weekend and then into my birthday because I wanted to sort of do my birthday with you and now it's past my birthday and we're still here but whatever. Anyway, yesterday, crazy story of my life, I saw a freaking snake in my kitchen i have the chills just thinking about it and like i told you guys like i literally put on the camera and then i'm like there's a freaking snake in my like literally that was me and what had happened was like a little backstory on that i was working from home yesterday i had had my lunch and after my lunch i was coming to like put the um leftover food in the trash so when I was like putting the food in the trash, right behind the trash, I saw something just like laying there, right by my heat vent, like right there. You guys see how the heat vents looks like, like there, like right there. <laughs> oh my God. So I saw something like laying by the heat vent and it was just like a straight line. And then in my mind, I was just so excited because I was full, you know, I had eaten, so I was like fresh full. And then I was just looking at the thing, like I just keep looking around because, oh my god, I was looking at the thing. And then I could see that the thing had eyes. <laughs> that was what pushed me and I'm like, oh, that does not look like trash because my kitchen was not dirty. So I'm like, um, immediately I saw the thing moving with like a little tiny head trying to go into my heat event and then i'm like oh my god that's a snake that's a snake and then i was shouting literally i'm like babe i was calling my husband i'm like babe babe oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like if you don't know what oh, oh means i don't want to scream because like you know if you don't know what oh, oh means it just means snake in my local dialect so i'm like oh, 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 oh like snake snake and then my husband was like oh my god <laughs> like he came downstairs like rushing down he got a big stick and we couldn't find the fucking snake you guys we cannot find the snake horror story of my life <laughs> i can't find a snake so i don't know my my landlord came here we called animal control they came to like take the heat event off and then try to look inside there's nothing they opened all the little corners looked in the wires there's nothing we pushed the fridge we literally tore up the whole kitchen and nothing and again i was here the whole time when i saw it so if it had like moved like in the kitchen area i would have definitely seen it because i was here i didn't even go anywhere because my daughter was home so i was in the like living room hallway right there looking at it hoping to see that it will come out but in my mind i was thinking it went into the heat event but I don't know, apparently it didn't because they checked the whole heat event and it wasn't there. And it was like, like, it's not so big. It's like the size is like this big, you know, like that. Like it's even like a little smaller than that and then maybe a little tall or a little long, I don't know. <laughs> and so I didn't really see like the whole thing. And that was like my first like ever interaction with a snake. I have never seen a snake. And if you guys didn't know, my biggest pet peeve is like they are snakes i cannot stand them 
even the thought of them like seeing them in a movie or when someone talks about them or like you see them in a video on social media i it just it gives me the chills every time like and i would always say to myself my biggest fear is seeing a snake i like always say to myself sometimes i would just be walking maybe in the backyard and i'll say oh god please my biggest fear is seeing a snake i'm even scared of bugs like i'm scared of insects i'm scared of literally everything i don't know how i was the one and i'm grateful that i actually came across it so now we're aware but we didn't find it yesterday so what we're thinking is because we cleaned up the whole place like we cleaned up literally everywhere took out the air condition like we tried to like do a lot of things so now we're hoping that oh god the thought the thoughts of it is like giving me the chills like does the idea of it hiding somewhere in this house because they're very good at doing that that just that idea is scaring me so much but also yesterday we went to get some snake repellent um, which we have sprayed around the house and everything so I'm definitely hoping that that will like deter every other one further away you know and also it's my prayer that this one because I read a lot about them yesterday I literally couldn't sleep I'm not gonna lie I was so distraught all day because I'm like why is there a snake in my kitchen like what did i do like it was a day after my birthday and there's a freaking snake in my kitchen make it make sense literally what i was saying yesterday i was like i kept asking what did i do to deserve this like i'm so like sentimental about things i was just like asking myself like what did i do to deserve this like why is there a snake in my kitchen like me of all people why <laughs> But yeah, we didn't find it. Like it's it's chilling, it's crazy, it's annoying, like it's all the things that you can say. So hopefully she's not like hiding somewhere in my house and just like chilling and waiting for us to forget about her and then she'll just like pop back out. Hopefully that's not the case. I'm hoping that she went back out wherever she came from, <laughs> okay? like maybe there was a hole because we took out the air condition we have another air condition in the room over here which we saw that had a little bit of space underneath it i don't know if that's enough space for her to get through but it was i mean the snake was that small so they apparently are able to get through the tiniest of holes if they want to so hopefully she found her way back out and we don't have to deal with no snake issues because i cannot <laughs> like um, but yeah, I'm about ready to move from this house. <laughs> like, I am like terrified. But it's, it's apparently that's the thing. That with the weather and the climate change and everything, summer coming out, that's the thing for all of them. They're going to be coming out to play. <laughs> like it's their season. They come out of hibernation at this time. So we should be prepared. So I'm happy that we have the snake repellent that we sprayed around the house. Hopefully that deters them. You guys know that we also have a cat. But for whatever reason, we put our cat out for a few days. Like, you know, we expose it to the outdoorsy lifestyle. Let me say that we give her a chance to go out. And now she likes the outside. <laughs> she doesn't want to come inside. When we bring her inside, she's in for a few minutes. And then the next minute, she's crying that she wants to go back out. And you, she, you put her outside. And then the next minute, she's crying that she wants to come back inside. So it's like now we need another cat that we can train and like keep for indoor indoor and we're actually thinking of getting a dog too um even though our lease doesn't agree with that but i think with this whole situation our landlord will actually give us permission to get a dog because my neighbor has a dog so i think it's not going to be a problem um but yeah we are looking into that because i need to be safe and i need to keep my child safe and like it, it's insane that's a crazy situation but yeah that's the story of my life okay story of my life after my 29th birthday it's mind-blowing <laughs> anyway it's time for my lunch let's look around let's make sure that we're safe that nobody's hiding anywhere okay good <laughs> it's time for my lunch <laughs> that's my current reality um i got some tacos let me just talk about this juice okay i got some smoothies from this place in my area i have never seen them on my doordash for whatever reason they just appeared on doordash tropicana smoothie and acai bar check 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 all the boxes okay this stuff is so good this one has kale almond milk pineapple and um something else banana 
it's so good mm. it's so good it is so good i've been fasting all day it's 1 13 i'm about to eat like proper eats like i'm so hungry okay i am so hungry so i got some tacos from my favorite taco place this is a taco sauce that comes with it it's like some i should probably show you properly but the lazy girl in me has come to play i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry yikes it's right there you see it good <laughs> and i have some birria birria tacos love it oh flavorful you can smell it the stuff is so good okay the stuff is so good i get them every now and then you know when i want to treat myself to a little something good so i didn't really do much on my birthday you guys saw that like it was such a chilled birthday so yeah that's one of the birthday things that i'm doing and also maybe over the weekend i might i don't i don't want to say something so much but i might grill something at the back um and just like have a drink or two something like that something chill but let me go and enjoy my food i'm currently also watching the perfect match on netflix which is so fun and exciting and it feels really good because there are a lot of characters that you know from different netflix shows that you've watched and seen all of them together in one house maybe that's a spoiler i'm sorry oh i yeah that's me i'm gonna spoil it for you before you even watch it but if you haven't watched it and if you're looking for something nice reality tv show to watch you know i'm your girl so go check out the perfect match okay it's nice but i'm gonna go watch that finish off my break i have a few like 45 more minutes for my break so that's enough time to chill and decompress okay so that i can um get back into work i don't know what time i'll see you i do have plans of going to shop a few clothes for from a pack because she needs you know a few change like a change of clothes for the summer season so we might do that if we don't do that we'll probably do that in the next vlog but yeah, we have a lot of things to do. Let me just say that I have a long list of things to do. I have to get my lines I have a lot of things to do. So my actual lines is like I'm about to be a big girl driver now. Ooh, hint, 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 hint. <laughs> Hi, you guys. So I came to Burlington today. I've always been shopping at Marshalls, and for whatever reason, oh, I hate those cats. It's not good. <laughs> for whatever reason, I wanted to shop at Bellington today to just for a change. And so I'm excited for that. What's that? <laughs> Look at that. I'm looking for some body oils. I currently have this one from Kylie Skin. But I'm looking to get a few other ones or maybe, I don't know, I don't know if I trust that one because it's $2 you guys, <laughs> I don't know, the price is very questionable, that's the thing, so I'm looking to see if I can get other ones. There's this other one here also that, you know, I think will be great. And then, I was just supposed to go. So yeah, I'm just going to keep looking through. Because I know that, you know, I could use a good body oil. So let me try to find that. I think I like that. So it's like picking something that's a jam suit. So something like this, I think will look really nice on her. And I also really like this style. I feel like this style is very beautiful. I really like this. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just might pick that. Look at that. Oh, this is beautiful. I love that. This is cute, right? 
and they have oh they actually have quite a number of them <laughs> i didn't think about it oh they do have quite a number of them it's like a little charm bracelet situation Hey guys, happy Sunday. Yesterday I didn't really show up on here because I took the whole day trying to get my hair braided. I braided my hair by myself. If you guys already know at this point, we're used to it. But yeah, I just wanted to put my hair away in braids. I've been wanting braids for a while. I think I've been saying that for a minute. I finally did it because I just, I'm tired <laughs> of my hair. So I got some short mid-size booboo braids pretty chunky like the base is like pretty big so it's not a lot it's like very lightweight because i was so tired i just couldn't do it <laughs> but we have something exciting oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. i got myself a birthday present okay this is one of the birthday presents that i got myself so let's unbox my birthday present to myself i i told you guys that my oven that i have in the kitchen it caught fire and then that situation is like i can't really use it right now because the glass here is cracked and i'm scared that when i use it it might break or it might just go like boo and like you know so i haven't touched it i am waiting for my landlord to deal with this i'm not gonna deal with that if i buy a new oven that's mine <laughs> and i don't think i'm ready for that so i bought a mini oven like literally i decided to get a mini this is an air fryer oven i'm excited i got it because of the oven functionality not because of the air fryer because i already have an air fryer um, but i am very excited because i miss like i love doing stuff in my oven you know like baking pizzas and stuff like i'm never able to do it again because of this thing it's so angry like i'm so mad at it but in light of my birthday i decided that i was going to get another one or i was going to get an oven like you know i wanted to get a big one i'm not gonna lie but i'm like oh i don't know if i'm ready to do that <laughs> plus i made a lot of purchases in the past so i'm like i mean in the past few weeks big purchases so i'm like you know what pipe it down okay let's do this one so let's go ahead and unbox this and see what it looks like set it up and i'm so excited for it okay i'm so excited this is the name of a brand that's them i got it on amazon this is something that i bought with my own money so amazon didn't send it to me <laughs> amazon didn't send it to me okay i got it with my own cash okay um it comes with some trays so that's nice i've already seen the reviews like i've watched a lot of videos so i know um and it comes with a cookbook like a recipe they also send you a digital version of the recipe so they sent one to my email as well which i thought was very thoughtful because if i don't want to keep this i can just look on my phone i'm excited i usually keep these because <laughs> i love recipes so i usually always like keep them we have some oven gloves so we love that and then we have some tray like a baking tray It also comes with a tray, a net tray. Um, I don't know what that's called, like a fish tray. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, this is 
is a gorgeous piece. Look at that. <laughs> this is so pretty. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. Bring you guys closer to it. So that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and take off the little the little things that make it feel new. <laughs> this is so gorgeous. This makes me so excited to you guys. That's what it looks like. And I am so excited for that. It's not as big. It's not crazy big. It's, I feel like it fits perfectly fine into this area. I usually don't like anything sitting here. I like my counters to be a little clear, but I will give it up for baking anytime. Okay, anytime. Oh, this is so cute. It is so cute. Perfect. Love it. I'm going to be trying it out um, maybe in the next vlog so that you guys see what it feels like to use it. But this is one of my biggest, um, this is one of my birthday gifts to myself. So from me to me. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So just in case any of you wanted to try that out, I can always leave a link or I will have a link on my Amazon. So Whenever you want to, you can always use my Amazon link to check it out. I will also let you guys know if I have any issues in the future because, yeah, appliances can be crazy. But with that being said, let's go ahead and cut my birthday cake for the vlog. I bought a little, um, I bought myself a little cake, but just for the vlog. So let's go ahead and cut a little birthday cake, um, put the birthday to an end because this is the Sunday of my birthday. So it's pretty much like a whole week celebration so a little happy birthday to myself and then we can call it a day Yay! this is my little cake <laughs> this is a tiramisu cake and let me just say that the older i get uh i'm 29 now i'm going on 30 it's insane i'm growing so fast <laughs> i sound like a child saying that but let me just say that the older i get the more i am getting to appreciate different things in life um, and the more I feel like my birthdays should not just be like you know like just a party or it's just like a, a different perspective when it comes to birthday birthdays for me before was more so like you know drink have fun and like chill 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 which a huge part of me will still do that but right now i view birthdays as like a whole different thing i view them as milestones like looking at the journey in my life how far i've come the things i have done by the age that i'm at so that's what i sort of look at when it comes to birthdays right now and i just want to say by my at my 29th birthday i'm so grateful for this life that i get to live this is literally the life i prayed for you know the life i hoped for with a loving family my kids and everything um and i'm so grateful for that looking at younger akusia and 29 year old akusia right now it means everything to me my husband is standing right here and he's doing this for me <laughs> my husband <laughs> but i just want to say that birthdays for me at this point mean just looking back and being grateful you know it has always been like that but right now i feel like it's more deepened so buying this cake no uh, buying this cake even with how small the cake is it still made me feel so good it still made me feel like because i'm like i don't need a big cake to celebrate my birthday i just need me something that makes me feel like this is true to me <laughs> my husband is he's not making me talk <laughs> so on that note i just want to say that i'm very grateful for my birthday i'm grateful for my 29th birthday i'm grateful for 
you guys let me take a minute to say that because you motivate me to come back on this platforms every single day no matter how far i go like no matter how far i wander away i come back and y'all are still like really loving and your comments and everything they just really really make me feel like i have a family on social media and as crazy as that, that as crazy as that may sound it feels true to me and i cherish it okay that's just who i am okay so i love you guys i'm grateful but let's cut the cake cut the cake with your sister this is our little celebration okay so my husband is not part nobody's part it's just me and you guys let's cut our cake let me take a picture before <laughs> let me take a picture okay happy birthday happy birthday girl happy birthday to me let me put this in the back because i want to put a candle <laughs> i'm gonna put a candle on my cake so let me do that oh exciting <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay guys so we're about to blow the cake let's blow the candle happy birthday to me <laughs> Oh, so cute. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. <laughs> oh, this is really cute. I love that. Let's take a bite. Happy birthday to me. That's your bites, you guys. That's you guys' bite. Focus. What are you doing? There you go. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> okay guys so thank you so much for watching this week's vlog i will see you in next week's vlog okay bye when they said she did it from her mama mama said you fuck her right your body will be slump like i'm be in the home but come tell me is you now cause i'm trying to go good tonight i'm holding what you said right i just want to live in a fantasy I think we deserve